All right, howdy friends, Russell here once again, coming from the shop, uh, kind of a public service announcement, if you will. Uh, today we're gonna talk about motor oil, and specifically we're gonna talk about some high zinc motor oils um, that if you're not, if you've got a, an older vehicle, uh, you know, say pre-95 or so, and you're not using one of these high zinc motor oils, uh, you're probably doing some detrimental damage to your engine. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that real quick. All right, as you can see on the bench behind me, um, I got a couple couple different bottles of motor oil here. Um, I've also got some uh, valve train components. These actually came out of a, uh, um, a Jeep 4.0 engine. Uh, components are the same, whether it's the Chrysler, the, the Jeep Chrysler 4.0 or the AMC Jeep uh, 4.2 liter. Uh, very similar components in your small block Chevy and small block Ford motors, um, as, as well as old MGBs, Triumphs, anything with a push rod type engine. Uh, now some of what we're going to talk about today uh, also applies to older overhead camshaft motors. Um, for instance, you know, some older Porsche engines, um, older Datsun engines, um, etc. So, zinc. Specifically, zinc diphosphor or ZDDP. Um, if you're any what somewhat familiar in the hot rodding community or old car community, you may have heard about zinc in your motor oil or, or the need for zinc in the motor oil and, and the fact that it's no longer in off the shelf oil. Both of these motor oils that I've got here, this, this is uh, this Brad Pen or Pen Grade 1 and your uh, Valvoline VR1 are both classified as race oils uh, so the EPA allows them to put the higher zinc diphosphor uh, qua you know, quantities in them. Um, they're supposed to be used for racing applications only, um, but if you've got, you know, you got an older uh, small block Chevy, uh, so anything in the C4 Corvette or older, um, and the same, you know, 95, 96 pickup trucks, etc. Before the LS series of engines, um, you need to be running a high zinc motor oil in them, and this is why. So here we have standard push rod camshaft. So the lifter rides directly on the camshaft. There is no roller bearing between the lifter and the camshaft. The push rod sets directly into the lifter. There's no roller bearing in here. And on the other end of the push rod, it sits directly into the rocker arm. Now this end of the rocker arm rides directly on the top of a valve tip. There are no roller bearings anywhere in this valve train. Um, and it's the same in a small block Chevy, it's the same in a small block Ford, it's the same in your 71 MGB, your 64 Triumph, you know, uh, your 1982 Datsun 280ZX, same thing. No roller bearings anywhere in the valve train. So what we have is direct white pattern, right? The only thing keeping, there, there's no cushion of oil between the cam lobe and the lifter, or the cam lobe and the rocker arm if it's an overhead cam uh, engine. And so it's a, it's a direct wipe, metal to metal wipe. And over time, that metal to metal wipe, you'll start to wear the metal away and start galling the metal, especially if you've got um, questionable metallurgy in your camshafts. Uh, so how do, how do we fix that? Well, the industry fixed it, you know, almost 100 years ago by putting zinc diphosphor in the motor oil. It ends up chemically bonding uh, to the metals and, and creates kind of a, a shear cushion, if you will, between the two metals. So when that cam lobe wipes the rocker arm or it wipes the lifter, it wipes that, that zinc diphosphor off. And then when you know the oil splashes back on, it resettles. Um, and it, so it reduces wear in your valve train. Um, so what happens if you run, say, stand, you know, you got a Datsun 240Z and you're gonna, you're just gonna run standard Castrol 10W30? Well, if the motor's never been rebuilt and it's all the original components, uh, you'll probably get away with it for a while. But let's say you just rebuilt the engine and you've got a brand new uh, Schneider camshaft, um, you know, brand new rocker arms, or you know, or rebuilt, and it's kind of hard to find new ones of those. Um, and you go through some 30 weight oil with a, with a, a break-in additive, which has, most break-ins have some zinc in it, and you do your flush, and then you put in your standard Castrol 1030. 
Well, I, I can tell you from direct experience, very quickly you're going to start wiping the cam lobes and, and damaging them because you don't have the zinc. Um, so, you know, like I said before, these two products here, uh, the Brad Pan Oil, I think it's sold now as Pan Grade 1, uh, Valvoline uh, VR1 Race Oil um, has the high zinc in it, uh, Joe Gibbs Racing offers an oil, uh, Redline Race Oil has high zinc in it, I think Amzol does as well, and I'll put links in the bottom of, uh, of this video description to all these products and, and where you can find some of this stuff. Uh, you may be able to find some through a local distributor. Uh, in my case, I usually just order it on Amazon because I can get it just as cheap and it usually gets here faster. Um, and that's all I got for now. Uh, like I said, and I'll, I'll say it again, if you've got an old motor, uh, an old design, and when I say old design, I'm like pre-OBD2. Um, so, you know, your, your Porsche 944s, uh, small block Chevy, small block Fords, five liter Mustangs, um, old MGBs, Triumphs, Dots and Z cars, and, and your Jeeps, your Jeep inline six motors, all the way up to the end of production in 06, half, they, they, they've got to have this zinc in it or you're doing damage to the motor. Um, once again, if you like this content, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you know future content coming up and there's more to follow.